If you live in Green Bay, you could soon be receiving more notifications about sex offenders requesting to live in your neighborhood. Residents in an east side neighborhood prompted the action after they say they were left in the dark about an offender moving in. Fox 11's Beth Krumholtz brings us balanced coverage tonight. Neighbors near this Huron Road home say they had no idea a sex offender wanted to live here until it was too late. We weren't aware that he was requesting to move in our neighborhood, and if we were aware, we would have definitely gone to the meeting ahead of time. Green Bay's Sex Offender Residency Board approved Samuel Brant's request to move into the home when he's released from jail later this month. In 2005, Brant was convicted of first-degree sexual assault of an 11-year-old girl. The home he's approved to live in is on a golf course, near parks, and a daycare. I did not know about it until I read it in the paper that they did this, and I thought, oh, wow, my first thought was, this is not going to work too well in that area, and then the phone starts ringing. Board members say they approved Brant's request because he'd be living with family. However, the board agreed to reconsider its decision either at its September meeting or earlier at a special session. The alderman in that district wants to make sure the public is notified better in the future so a similar situation doesn't happen again. Nobody really called me. Nobody really made light of it. The current notification requirements for these meetings is three days warning through the media. I don't want to read about it in the paper as far as the notice goes. The board approved a motion for an ordinance to be drafted and voted on at a future meeting. It would require neighbors within 200 feet of an offender's requested living location to be notified, along with the district's aldermen and the area's nearest neighborhood association. Some type of notification needs to happen. To go into effect, the ordinance will need to be approved by the Sex Offender Residency Board and then by the City Council. In Green Bay, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News.